What is going on YouTube? Hit it back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as the S&P 500. I know I haven't made a video in two days. I apologize. I've been actually pretty busy over this Labor Day, um, but hopefully you guys did have a good Labor Day weekend, extended weekend, enjoying your days of rest hopefully. But, um, you know, what also has been resting is the, stock, is the stock market and cryptocurrency. We actually haven't really seen much movement of anything that really needed me to jump onto the channel and make a quick video. Obviously, I'm going to continue to make videos moving forward here. But for the time being, we haven't really seen much movement. So I didn't really miss out on much. If anything, this has given us a little bit of time to refresh, consolidate, figure out where exactly we're moving to and what exactly is going on here. And you can see the S&P 500 has pretty much done nothing. I obviously, because the market's been closed Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So today's Tuesday, we're finally going to open back up in about an hour, and then we'll start to see where movements uh, take us to, because I think we're due for some, some volatility finally. But as in regards to these other cryptocurrencies, we haven't really seen much. And honestly, uh, since we last left off, you can see where that was. These are the four-hour charts. I don't think this is that much different than where we currently are. I know it looks different, but I'm going to tweak the charts in a little bit with you guys, kind of readjust the position since we've traded out of them and show you that we really haven't seen much movement. It goes beyond just Bitcoin. Ethereum as well, you can see exactly, we could just extend these further and we're still inside this channel here. And XRP is the only one that's actually starting to trend outside the downtrend here. And I do believe we're due finally to see some sort of volume input here. You can see we started to trend a little bit lower, but we're pretty much caught up and in, in right online and in line with this blue band right here literally this is it we're, we're stuck on this we ain't moving anywhere and this is what we're sitting on here and i think we're gonna just gonna continue to use this as a means of support but i still strongly believe that we are due for a correction back up to here at least maybe even higher which would be pretty incredible if you ask me so we need to cover all of our bases update the charts from the you know from the weekend that we had here kind of see what exactly is going on if we've missed out on anything so on and so forth but with all of that being said definitely make sure to smash the like button turn on post notifications subscribe if you haven't already and let's jump into today's episode so last we left off we made a video obviously i did a new cypher rock hardware wallet review which is super cool if you guys want to see a seedless hardware wallet which is pretty interesting. I highly recommend you check out this video. It's actually quite a, a unique and cool concept that they're adding to the to the market here. So if you're in need for a new external hard drive, cold storage wallet, I definitely recommend checking out CypherRock here. But moving forward and looking at these other cryptocurrencies, we ideally we basically left off continuing to trade sideways here. And I basically said the best case, the best bullish case for uh, XRP and cryptocurrency here. And as you can see, we've just continued to trend out of it, which is quite annoying. It's actually been a lot of consolidation after the major pump. We had the, um, what was it? The the Bitcoin ETF, uh, Grayscale, the ETF, the uh, lawsuit that, con or not even, yeah, the lawsuit, the contract that was in court finally was settled here. So we saw a bit of a pump and then a dump by the rumor, sell the news kind of action here. And now we've just been consolidating here. Moving forward to the current coin market gap, you can kind of see how we had that big run and then dump here. And then since then, we've been flatlined out. I mean, this is what we were tracking the past two or three days. The two days that I was absent, nothing has happened here. It's pretty uh, remarkable. Literally flatlined out on Bitcoin, flatlined out on Ethereum. BNB dead in the water. XRP flatline dead in the water. Cardano. I mean, it, the list continues and goes on and on and on and on and on. None of these cryptos are doing much movement at all. Uh, XRP here, not doing much at all here, even jumping to like, the four hour to try to figure out, hey, is there like a, a channel here that we're missing? Is there something that we're missing? You can see there was definitely some sort of like uptrend, some point of contact here where we had that original kind of break. You can see this very small four hour, you know, higher low symmetrical triangle filling this in and then boom to the upside. That's what happened here. But since then, we're now kind of consolidating. We're consolidating here, and then here we had a little drop to the downside here, and we're still consolidating, not really seeing much movement at all, and I think this is going to continue, or it's going to continue to, to stay put like this. We're going to continue to kind of flatline out until we get that movement, that big swing from the S&P 500. Now, I've jumped to the weekly here. I want to get a better look. You can see we are on this you can see now this blue uptrend, how how we're kind of moving here. We are getting sandwiched between the weekly moving average and the uptrend here, but we have been patiently using it as a means of support and creating an overall 
high or low movement. And I think we're due for that next big run to the upside. The next big swing to the upside here is truly what I think is next for XRP. I think that's what's going to come next for XRP, this weekly move to the upside here, which hopefully you guys are are waiting for patiently. You know, that's what I suspect to see happen here. You can see on XRP on the daily charts now that we've been flatlined out on, on the oversold line for weeks now, literally since August 18th. We're now into September. We've been flatlined out entirely, trading at about 30 on the RSI. I mean, this is showing plenty of room and potential to see that pump that we're all looking for here. And I think it is going to come, but I think we now needed the market markets to open back up and we need to start seeing some movement, some fluctuation within the S&P 500, the stock market before we see any big vital swings. Now, uh, and in regards to BidFi here, um, BidFi is the number one cryptocurrency leveraging exchange that I like to use here on the channel. BidFi lets me buy long, sell short, leverage trade, create stop losses, take profits. Basically, everything you could possibly think of is offered on BidFi to trade around with here. They're re-adding a, or they're revamping the demo account. So that'll be added by the end of this month. I've now, you know, spoken to them again to get an update on that because I'm a little annoyed that they removed the demo account, but it is what it is. They revamp, refresh the website as you can see here, but they will be re adding the demo account by the end of this month. They have some very large updates and bonuses coming out this month, which I'll keep you guys posted on. So definitely make sure to check out BidFi here. Sign up with the link down in the description below. Completely free to sign up and learn how to leverage trade and create stop losses, take profits. You can short XRP, you can long XRP, which is incredible if you ask me. They even have a welcome rewards bonus currently of up to $2,888 completely free by completing the tasks down below, which are so easy. And then eventually they'll be adding more bonuses for those that have signed up down in the description below. And I'll update you guys here on uh, on the channel. But moving forward to look at these other cryptos, we have to extend Ethereum here. You can see how this now makes more sense. Like nothing has really happened uh, I mean, do we want to do that? I don't think so. I mean, this is plenty fine. You can see nothing's happened here. We're still moving sideways, still doing doing this whole shebang here. And eventually that is going to break. At some point, we're going to see some, some movements within that. And we should see uh, what I believe is a rally to the upside here. Because even on the four-hour charts, we're very low on the relative strength indicator. And we jump to the daily. We're also very low on, on the relative strength indicators here. So everything is screaming. Uh, undervalued pump back to moving average. And I would suspect that that's what's going to happen fairly soon. I would suspect that a reversal back up to moving average is necessary for the longevity of Ethereum here, that this undervalued correction is done with. I really do think that these markets are overall done with their correction and a pump and a reversal back to the upside is necessary for Ethereum and a lot of these cryptos, even Bitcoin here, you can see this looks a little bit jankier on the on the da on that four hour chart. But if I jump to the daily, it kind of makes sense as to where we can draw this. If we start to tweak this a bit, you can see how. Oh, look! Now we're starting to see the downtrend here. If I jump to the four hour, it might look a little bit odd. But ideally, here's this fractal that we've been dealing with. We're still stuck in this fractal here, just like Ethereum, and we're waiting for the pump. We gotta erase or ignore the manipulation that we have here. This is manipulation. Maybe there's some sort of downtrend we could definitely top off. I don't know. That eh, don't look about right. Maybe something like this. I don't know. But there's definitely some sort of downtrend. Could we draw like a fractal like this? It's possible. Maybe there's a fractal like that. I'll leave it alone for right now. We'll see if things change moving forward here. But regardless, even if we're inside one of these descending fractals, you can see we are in line with the support here. And I also believe we're due for a reversal back to moving average. We've been trading quite a while now below moving average on the daily charts here. And it's not a typical thing. We always inevitably come back to retesting the moving average. I think it's kind of due. We're in that same boat right now. Uh, so again, again, everything comes down to how the S&P wants to trade. I think this is going to have a major influence over how we see the rest of the stock or the rest of cryptocurrencies move and i think the way these charts reveal themselves even jumping to the weekly how we've been moving over the past couple of weeks shows signs that we've hit a bottom here you know it was january 1st on the dot perfectly timed when they decided to crash the markets here or uh, drop the markets but then we found a bottom and we confirmed that bottom by starting to head up and creating higher lows so since then we've been on a higher low movement and now we're due for that next leap. So we're due for another pump, which should cap us at the uh, the highest point in the market here, retesting all-time highs. Then we'll head down again. Maybe we'll head all the way down to here, but we'll just keep doing movements like this, eventually moving higher than where we last were, which is literally in 2024. I'm a strong believer that 2024 will, will, will reap all-time highs within 
the S&P 500. And also, we'll see some pretty large movements in cryptocurrency. Maybe not all-time highs yet, but we're definitely headed in that direction. But with all that being said, that is it for today's video. Definitely make sure to smash the like button. Hopefully, you guys had a good Labor Day weekend. Turn on both notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace. <laughs>